Hello friends, my name is Richie from Social Justice Warrior and uh, today I'm going to be doing a quick Q&A because I haven't done one in what seems like forever. But first, before I start the questions, I want to let you all know that I did open a P.O. box. Finally, you can send me all your random shit that you've been piling up and you're like, Richie, I don't know where to, I, I don't know where to put this stuff. Um, so now you can you can send it to me. Uh, tour, tour care packages are always appreciated, fan art, all that good stuff. I'd love to to hear from you. All right, so first question. What has been the hardest part about moving into a house and living on your own? I'll definitely have to say I'm um, fending off all the bugs because I did move out into the country. I can't deal with bugs, so um, definitely, definitely learning a lot about pest control. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that. What's your main goal in life? I know this is going to sound kind of cliche, but uh, to be happy. Uh, I, I know, I know that's so weird coming from me, but it, it's true. I mean, I, I feel like everyone's kind of chasing happiness. Or even I would settle uh, to be satisfied, just in general, just to be satisfied with what I'm doing and my life. Do you have sleep problems? I wouldn't really call them sleep problems because I definitely sleep enough. I try and get at least six to eight hours of sleep um, a night, if if not more. I, I just generally sleep either during the morning or afternoon. I have, I have like a really weird sleep schedule because being a YouTuber, um, I don't have to really be awake during the daylight if I don't want to. Um, so a lot of people see me tweeting at like 4, 5, 6 a.m. It's just because that's when I do what I do. When will you have a new album? The answer to that is I have absolutely no idea. Obviously, I'm always working on new music. I'm supposed to be having a single be released in the next couple weeks. I'm really excited about that with a music video. Um, but as far as another full album like Yalta, it, 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 could, it could be a little while. Are you excited? for the tour with Say We Can Fly and John and Gilbert. Of course, yeah, no, I, I would never go on a tour that I wasn't uh, super duper excited about. I'm already putting together my live set now, I'm programming lights, I'm in full tour mode, and it's it's about two, two, three weeks away, so definitely come to that if you can. How did you get the name Mother Moth? Uh, AKA, I guess, Mother Hawk now, but it, it's kind of interchangeable at this point. It all started off with me seeing younger fans, or at least girls, uh, calling older guys in bands uh, dad or daddy, and they would call me dad or daddy, and I think that's super weird, if you can recall that trend. So I told everyone to call me mom or mother instead, and uh, Mother Moth uh, was just an alliteration because of my wings, so. What's the craziest thing? Thing that someone in public did to you. Well, it's not all that crazy, but uh, whenever I go to Warp Tour fully dressed up, a lot of people grab my ass, like a lot. Like I counted like at least 10 people, 10 to 15 people per date. And I'm pretty sure that's considered sexual harassment. But since I'm like dressed up and like a, a YouTuber, I guess people just get away with it. I don't know. I think that's pretty crazy to just walk up to somebody and just grab their ass. So. Don't, don't do that. When are you planning on getting another tattoo? Also, I like your tattoo, it's beautiful. Well, thank you very much. It's also my favorite tattoo. I don't really have any plans for other tattoos. Obviously, I, I plan on getting more tattoos, um, but as of right now, I'm just trying to be kind of more spontaneous with my tattoos since I've been so slow with getting them. I only have like four, although they're kind of big, but I only technically only have four tattoos, so. I don't know is the answer to that. Do you get your feelings hurt easily? I consider myself pretty thick-skinned just because uh, being an internet person you kind of have to be in order to deal with this climate of like hatred um, and trolls. But I do feel like I am very fragile when it comes to people I care about. If someone in my life or someone that I know personally in real life uh, t takes a shot at me then um, I'll, I'll probably take it pretty personally, yeah. How long do you want to continue your YouTube career? Pretty much as long as, as you guys watch my videos, as long as I enjoy doing art and stuff like that. I don't know, I, I just never want to get stagnant with my content or kind of what I'm doing with my music, so as long as I have a creative flair for it, I'll keep doing it. Why don't you store the junk in front of your house in the two sheds you have outside? I just corrected the typos. Yeah, I got a lot of comments on my house tour video uh, saying why is your kind of auxiliary storage room so full of shit when you can easily have two completely empty sheds out there and just fill those sheds with all your stuff? Uh, the answer to that is that I don't think those sheds are weatherproofed. Um, so if it did rain or if it was really bad weather, there's also a lot of bugs in there. I have a lot of electronics in my storage room, so they would definitely 100% get broken, and um, that defeats the point of storing it. What would you say to people wanting to get into wearing what they want as an expression of themselves on a regular basis, like wearing sclera lenses and fangs, etc.? I would say 
don't worry about what others think. I don't. I go out in public like this all the time, and I know people stare, obviously, like I would stare if I weren't me seeing me, if that makes sense. But I think the overall root to wearing whatever you want and not giving a fuck is kind of just being confident with yourself and being happy with how you look. Have you ever thought of doing music with other YouTubers? Well, I have done music with other YouTubers. At least I've done covers with other people. I find it really hard to write original music with other people because I'm creatively stubborn, but I do feature other YouTubers in my acapellas and covers all the time. Polygamous relationships, yes or no? Well, I was in a polyamorous relationship once and that was fucking terrible, so probably not. Do you have any white girl moments? Perhaps. Is making acapella videos complicated? How long do they usually take? I'm very curious. Well, yes, they are very complicated. They're the most complicated time-consuming videos that I make, um, but I really enjoy making them. This is why I keep making them. They generally take anywhere between 8 to 20 hours of, of like solid work time. What was your life before YouTube? I was a freelance sound engineer for a while. I did go to college and got my bachelor's degree in film production. So I was kind of a, a freelancer who worked on film sets. Before that I worked at a movie theater and was a barista for a while. I worked at Hot Topic for like three or four months. I don't know, I just kind of floated around. Um, I, I was doing okay before YouTube, but I definitely wasn't incredibly happy. I definitely had direction in my life before YouTube. Uh, not saying I was like incredibly successful in, in by, by any means, but since the whole YouTube and music thing took off, things have been obviously a lot better. I was also an Uber driver for a few months. That that was definitely an experience. Maybe maybe I'll make a video about that. And those are all the questions that I've picked. Sorry if I didn't pick your question. I'll definitely do another one of these at some point, maybe on tour or something. Um, by the way, I'm going on tour a couple weeks. Johnny Gilbert, say we can fly. Sorry to beat a dead horse that is rotting and deceased, but I, I, I want I want to see you guys. But if you have any further questions, please let me know. Maybe I'll answer some in the comment section. Otherwise, I'll see you soon. Stay sad. Mwah. Yay.